Hey guys, it's Keith from Red Beer Prospect and we're down at the creek today and we're going to start playing with our new little toy that we showed you in the last video. So let's get on over to it. We got the gold hound out here today. He's going to sniff out some gold for us. All right, let's get to going. All right, go ahead. Nah, guys, I'm just messing with you. We brought the dog with us to the creek today. Okay, we'll get over to the real video now. Here's the gold hound again. So we're gonna get a little bit of video of it working. I'm not gonna get down in the creek right now because I don't got my boots with me. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna go along the edge of this part that one of my buddies had dredged out and see what we can find. But the only modification, like I was saying earlier, we made was putting this longer hose on here. And what that'll do is it's gonna allow everything to discharge out to the side instead of hitting up here and splashing back on us. Brian has addressed all those issues with the newer model. This was one of the early demo models. The hose now is actually longer where you can drop it off in the water behind you. But guys, let's get this in the water and get it primed. Guys, we got the gold hound pumping right now. You can see the water being discharged out the side hose. And you can see the material in the cup is just sitting there churning as you pump it. So what it's doing is it's agitating and getting all of the heavier material to fall while the lighter material drops out. And then when you want to clear the cup a little bit, just lift the nozzle up out of the dirt, pump some clean water through it, and that'll empty out most of the material in the cup. And then you go right back to hand dredging.
All right, y'all, after running for a little bit, we've jumped around a few different places and uh, filled the cup up and cleared it out and filled it up a few times. We've got that emptied into a bucket. So we're gonna pan this out or pan out everything we got in the bucket and see what our total is for today. All right, y'all, we got the last little bit of cons panned out of the bucket where we've been saving out of the gold hound. We'll get you over to the pan and show you what we got for the day. I was really, imp I was really impressed with it. Uh, I do want to get a video actually getting it out and doing some crevicing. There wasn't a whole lot of crevices we could actually get to today, so we actually tested in some places that we test panned. But guys, let's get you over to the pan and show you what it caught. All right, so the last little bit of the material that was in there, and see if I can get you a good little shot right there. That's what we caught for the day. A good little amount, probably about a, maybe a tenth, a little over a tenth of a gram or something. That's that, that's pretty good guys. I'm, I'm really happy with how it worked today. Now that's from, that's from probably uh, about three hours worth of actually running it. Uh, so we did have quite a bit of time into it. Obviously we didn't do a, three hour long video because no one's going to sit and watch me pump pump the gold hound for three hours straight but you do like seeing the gold at the end but guys uh there's a, another product that they have coming out here soon hopefully i can get one of them on video we will be getting another video out actually taking it and crevicing with it and show you how it works crevicing there is uh two different attachments that you can change besides the nozzle that's on it and both of them just snap right to the bottom of the base plate. And it does have a little hook right there where you can hang a pan on, which we felt like the pan just kind of got in the way. But guys, the, the little modification we done, done really well. We didn't get wet at all with this. It discharged just fine. Uh, only I adjusted this too is the strap on it. For uh, my size, I actually need a longer strap this one isn't quite long enough, but I think they've actually got a longer strap on the newer models. So that's another little thing they've actually went in and fixed. But y'all, if you have any questions at all on the Gold Hound or something you'd like to see done with it, I'm also gonna do a little test out here in the tub. I'm gonna throw a couple nuggets in there and see how well it does with nuggets or if it's gonna try to blow it out. But it done, it done really well on the small flower gold. And there is, I mean, there is a little bit of chunky pieces in there, a few right there, but a lot of this gold is just super fine. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great day, heavy pans. And if you did like the video, consider subscribing, guys. Hopefully we can get to a thousand soon. We can do another big giveaway.